Hey everybody! Today is Friday, September 16th, 2011. The moon is waning. I've been trying to pay more attention to the moon, um, and, and the way it moves, and the speed at which it moves, and the speed at which life moves along with it. Um, you know, the moon phases are an artifact of the way our solar system works. Gravity and and orbiting bodies and uh, and you know uh, rotation rotation of planetary bodies. I think it's amazing, and I've lately I've been wanting to pay more attention to the little details. So I've been trying to think about how like what the moon is like right now and and how I'm doing right now on a day to day basis. I'm still taking things one day at a time. It's been almost six months since my surgery, and um, everything's fine. I'm I'm pleased to report that um, I was done with pretty much all of the pain and discomfort starting around the beginning of the fifth month. Fifth month, um, and I'm very grateful for that. And I'm also, I'm also aware now that I'm not going to be back to really 100% until a year after my surgery. So another six months. In another six months, I'll, I'll feel, you know, I'll, I'll probably will have forgotten that I even had surgery at all. Um, but I'm still getting there. And, um, you know, I've been away for a bit because, well, I haven't had that much to say. Um, I've been dealing with a lot of introspection. Um, you know, post-op depression is a very real thing. And, um, and I think it comes because of a combination of reasons. But the big thing is that I'm not letting it get the better of me. I am determined to move forward with life. I am, have been looking for a full-time job for the last, um, for the last few few weeks actually I've had a few interviews and nothing's worked out yet including including a couple of opportunities that I was I was really hoping for they didn't work out and so when life feels static being when you're spending most of your time and and doing most of your work and hobbies in the same place which I'm doing out of this house uh, life can feel very static and it has for me a lot lately, and I'm I'm done with that. I'm um, I feel like I'm at this point now where the only thing keeping me back from getting myself back back to where I was faster is me. So I am uh, I've started running. Here's my running story. I started running two weeks ago. I went out for a jog with my friend. And it was the first time that I've really m moved to work up a sweat since my surgery. And I almost passed out. Um, <laughs> I had also had my blood drawn that morning for a blood test. So running on a, on a less than empty tank of, of blood vessels is maybe not the smartest idea. But I didn't pass out and I didn't have any problems. Um, and then the next morning I was said, you know what, I'm just going to do this again. So I just started running again and um, setting my own pace and setting my own goals and trying to stretch and not, not do it foolishly um, and not be ambitious. Um, not too ambitious. Not tr I tried to not set my expectations of myself too high. Instead, I tried to just do what I can and appreciate and respect that. Um, so after one week, after one week, it went fine. I went one week and ran like five days in, in, in seven days, five, five out of seven days. So the, the, the first running day of the second week, I'm at the very end of my session and I pulled a muscle or something in my leg. Like I could, I could feel stinging pain, like bad stinging pain. Like it felt like I tore something. Um, and, uh, said, okay, well, I guess I have to stop for today. And I've been trying to take it easy on that. Um, I've been trying to not get discouraged because I was at this nice ramp up and, um, not going to let a little, you know, a little stumbling block 
derail my entire amb- ambition to to run. So, you know, I'm walking, I'm, do, I'm starting to do extended walks again, and um, I'm going to be back on, back in the running shorts in no time. Um, so trying to be conscious of respecting my body and what my body needs. For the last six months, like the, the majority of the last six months, I've spent in great physical pain, um, you know, post-operatively, just with lots and lots of early healing um, while I was still in Thailand and then waiting for stitches to stop irritating my, my skin and my tissues, waiting for the stitches to dissolve and fall out. And, um, and also there's this lovely thing called granulation, which is a natural part of, of surgery, this surgery. And uh, it, takes, it heals on its own, but it takes a little bit of time. And it, it, it's like, um, it's like, a, it's like st- stretching... It's kind of like stretching exposed skin and it can burn. So I've been in a lot of physical pain for most of this year. And um, I think a lot of that manifested, has manifested in me emotionally. So, you know, things like depression have been like, uh, I've had pain contributing to my depression. I've had, um, you know, being... Like, a, I have this big window right here, and I've seen plenty of sunlight this summer, but I haven't been out in the sun a lot. I've been sitting and laying down, doing a lot of recovering. So, um, it's like there's all these factors that have contributed to kind of a shitty state of being for me, and I'm done with it. So I'm, I'm picking up the pieces that are more polished and um, more well-defined, uh, than they have ever been. And just because they were on the floor doesn't mean they can't go back here where they belong. So I'm putting myself back together. Um, and, um, you know, really trying to be happy. Like it's, it sounds silly that you have to put some, sounds silly to consider that it would take so much effort to be happy. Um, but I think that's not unusual. I think that, uh, there are plenty of you out there that can relate to having to work to be happy. Um, and I I just want to re reiterate that it's worth it. It's worth it to, to put in that work, to put in that energy and that effort to do what you have to do to be happy. Um, as long as you're not hurting somebody else. So I guess I don't have any wisdom to share. Just simple update. I'm still here. I'm uh, just a person. I'm trying to do the best that I can. I've had a rough summer, rougher than I expected and rougher than I would have liked, but I'm through it. And this is the biggest surgery I think I'll ever have to go through. Um, you know, until I, until I have some serious, some serious health risk that needs like a tumor removed or something, which could happen anytime. So I'm trying to be present in the moment. I'm trying to be here now. And, um, you know, I'm still here. I'm still part of the community. Um, and, uh, I'd like to, I'd like to thank everyone that sent me letters in the last summer, this last summer, uh, all your letters and, and kind words have really been wonderful. So thank you for that. And, um, I, I mentioned in my last video that I had some projects that I want to talk about. And so I'm, I'll talk about them now, just as a little teaser for the end of this video. I am working on one project that is mixing an album of music that I helped write and compose and perform while I was in Denmark. So I have an upcoming album, more info coming on that. Um, I have a computer game that I've been designing. It's actually going to be on the iPhone and iPad. Uh, and I don't exactly know when it's going to come out. I'm pretty sure it's going to come out next year. Uh, and I'm not going to show any more today, but now you know about it. Um, it's a music game. So music album, music video game. Third thing is I'm actually been doing some programming, contract programming for another game another indie game that uh, is going to be, we're going to do an announcement soon. 
and then we're going to do like a Kickstarter campaign. So those of you that are interested in uh, in playing the game and contributing to the project, um, you can give us a few bucks to help finish the game. Um, and I'm going to leave you with that. Uh, yeah. I Okay, I'll just say goodbye and close by saying that Last weekend was my 10-year high school anniversary, my reunion, 10-year high school reunion, and uh, it was awesome. I went, I loved it, no issues, turned a few heads, made a few people smile, and um, really, really glad that I went. So I hope you're all doing well out there in, uh, in the world, and I will see you next time. <laughs>